Hello world, my name is Julie. I'm a certified professional dog trainer uh, working with families for the last 17 years. And in today's video, I'm going to go ahead and go over uh, why training can cost so much. And this is gonna be the private lesson edition. So there's your staying train or doggy boot camp. And then there's the private lessons. Private lessons is when the trainer comes out to your home and we train you how to train your dog. So one of the reasons why training can be so expensive, um, and I'm talking about ranging from 300 to $4,000, depends on what the owner's budget is that they're comfortable doing, is one of the reasons is the, the experience. And so with trainers, it's great that we can get um, our hands on as many uh, different breeds, different issues, anywhere from you know uh, high anxiety to high aggression and anything in between you know your puppies your happy-go-lucky i call them beer crushing frat boys you know like hey, you know like your labs so there's there's a, a lot of experience that a trainer should have under their belt you know that they've accumulated over the years to be able uh to help the owners you know that have these different breeds and that's the other case is knowing how uh to help owners in their home with uh, different breeds, different, uh, different sizes, different issues, you know, and different lifestyles. So we've got your working family, you've got, you know, a retirement, fa uh, retired family. There's all these different, uh, dynamics that we have to build into that program that is going to be able to help that dog and that family. You know, how are we going to do this? And you've got to, you know, stay on top of your game and know how to, how to handle these situations. Another reason is, and this kind of, um, uh, th this, is, this is a lot of my issues, not issues, but this is a, a, a big topic that I have. A lot of, as Boris, um, a lot of issues that an owner may come to me thinking that they have uh, just one or two problems when there's a whole battery of issues. And that's not their fault. They're just, they're just seeing what their pain points are when there's a lot going on in the background. And so I really have to tear apart, you know, what is what is really going on and then build, you know, a case study and then build a treatment and, and how we're gonna, you know, resolve these issues in kind of a realistic, and some people want quick fixes. We live in a quick fix world. We live in a, you know, I want it now, but that's not how dogs work, you know? And that's where training starts to fall apart if we give these like quick fixes, you know, and I'll be able to handle all these issues in two or three lessons. That's not always the case. And, uh, you know, the, the big part of it is, and this is kind of a, so, uh, a sore spot for me when I was a vet tech is not training your dog can cost three to four times more than what your average dog training program is. You know, I know that four grand's like really high up there, but your dog getting hit by, a, try not to cry, getting hit by a car, you know, getting poisoned, uh, not coming when called, getting lost. You know, what, what are, what's the value on that, you know, with your dog? And so a lot of people, they don't want to hear that, but that's the honest to God truth. I was a vet tech for 10 years before I became a dog trainer. Five of those years uh, were in between where I was training Anna as a vet tech. So that's the sore spot is not training your dog can cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars. And it can be set up, you know, some dog trainers take payment plans, that's great. You train as you go, but not training your dog at the bottom, at the end of the day, the bottom line is it'll cost you way more and a whole lot of heartbreak with you, with your family, uh, with your dog having to get put down because it got hit by a car with a broken back. So those are the issues. And that's why dog training can cost a little bit more than what people are used to seeing, you know, from 15, 20 years ago. And I was around back then too. So, so yeah, private lessons, they can cost a little bit. And, and that's what the, the price that people are willing to pay. All right, you guys have a great day.